one simple thing and for nothing else, Chantel, he kept us. That's clean. That's clean. No, but mom, 
Amen. I ain't no, I ain't no smush, amen. But as a man, amen, you ain't trying to let too much handle you kind of, you know, awkwardly. Amen. Amen. As a Christian, we ought to not let be, you know, too too cool with letting things kind of uh, uh, handle us awkwardly. Amen. Amen, somebody. My whole thing was. I was in a position of not disobedience, but I was in a in a place of uh, frustration and upset because out of all the business and all this other stuff, you got dictation to tell us how to do and what to do and serve it. I got. I had a problem with that, and I still do. Because, Amen. Out of everything you want to legislate. The one of the first things you legislated was to shut the doors of the house of God. That was a nothing but a trick of the enemy. Yeah, yeah. And we need to be cautious. The only reason I'm saying this, and I'm going to get to the book. The only reason I'm saying this is because we have to be open-eyed and wise in our minds and spirits as Christians to recognize the enemy when he's at work. I know, I know, I know. They talking like a fool. The thing is a pandemic. They shouldn't have. No, hear me, please. Saint of God, hear me, please. I know it's a pandemic. It still is a pandemic. Amen. Pandemic ain't gone yet. Right. Hear me though. It's getting better. That's right. It's gotten better. Absolutely. But it's at the point where it is now. And when they shut up. Amen. 
And I have been lifting you up. We have been lifting you all up. Amen. And asking God to sustain his people. Asking him to keep his people. Amen. 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 To keep his people. That's what we need above all. Amen. Amen. We need to be kept by God. We're not keeping ourselves. Amen. Amen. We are being kept by God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As so we bless him today, we give him glory. Give him all glory, all honor, all praise. Amen. It's all to him. Amen. Amen. And even in this, even in this, trip this, you got to get it. Even in this, ain't nobody mad but the devil. Hallelujah. Ain't nobody mad but him. Amen. Ain't nobody mad but him. Amen. And one thing he can't do, he can't keep his debt on the people of God too long. Amen. Because God still is in charge. Amen. Amen. I say God is still in charge. Amen. Amen. No matter what he say, what he do, God is still in charge. In charge. Amen. Amen. And so we magnify the great God of our salvation today. We, as we always do, say we greet you tonight, today. Amen. Today and we greet you, amen, in divine love, amen. Yes. And uh, we are so blessed and we are so grateful, amen. Just get this out the way to God, amen, uh, for um, the heart, yes. I said that way, for the heart of you, mm. the people of God, amen, yes. uh, that made up the, the body of the Cedar Grove Baptist Church. Hallelujah. Um, Hallelujah. We love you all, amen. We love you with our pure heart, amen. And we thank God for each and every one of you all. And I say it this way, and I'm going to say it because I mean it personally, amen. We, amen. I learned in life to not take truth and value of truth for granted. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. My father taught me. He said this when I was 14, and I remember when he said it. He said, son, when somebody is nice, kind, and thoughtful of yes, you, yes, yes. Right. you better never be too high or lofty or too much of yourself to tell them, thank right. you, right. and appreciate yes. their thought of you. Yes. I say that in love today. You all did not have to call me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Didn't have to call me to come preach. Yes, hallelujah. Didn't have to think about Bishop at all. Hallelujah. I want you to know I'm thankful that you did. Hallelujah. hallelujah. I appreciate yes, that you did. I love you that you did. Yes. You all have been on our hearts. Y'all have been in our spirits, on our minds, uh, so deeply, so heavily throughout all this thing. Amen. And I mean, really interceding um, to God on the behalf of you all, that God would keep you all. Amen. I didn't, I didn't want it to, I didn't want it to, to take nobody else. And we want to all go home and be with him. Amen. amen. That's what we're striving for. Can I get a witness? But amen. But you know, you know, you know, too soon could be too soon. Amen. We miss mama. We miss mama. Yes, yes. We miss her. Amen. Hallelujah. I was calling her too. Amen. And we miss her. Yes. First thing I would do, walk up in there. She the first thing I would see is not Naisha. Amen. <laughs> and she. Y'all know that's what she did. Hallelujah. So we miss her. Amen. amen. And when mama. Had to go to that hospital mm. for pressure. Uh -huh. I was on my knees. Mm. Was I not? Hallelujah. I can't already get on my knees. Mm. But I got on my knee and I am seated on the behalf of Mother, 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 yeah. Mother Maddie back there. Right. And when I talked to her, I told her, I said, I know you blessing God. I said, the thing I'm happy about, you walked in and you walked out. Because yes. you walk in now, you don't walk out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You don't come out. Mm. So that was a blessing. Amen. Amen. And we magnify God for that because he intervened. Amen. Amen. 
she could have went in there just for pressure, and then and before she knew anything, she could stuck up in there with a ventilator in her. That quick, amen. Yes. You gotta recognize and know how to thank God. And all he said, in all things, mm. give thanks. Yes, yes. Because yes. it is the will of God Hallelujah. in Christ Jesus concerning you. Amen. 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 So we are again, we are just delighted and thankful to God for um, all of his many, many, many blessings and even for the fact of being able to come, amen, this month, amen, of May, this first Sunday. What a beautiful uh, way to come back together to, yes. amen, worship him together in spirit and in truth, but also to reflect on the price he paid on Calvary. Amen. He said, as often as you do this, you show forth my death and suffering until I come again. Amen. So, so, and that significance, amen, that's just a black eye on the devil today. Amen. Because they're not coming back. We're coming back on first Sunday. Amen. amen. Recognizing what Jesus did. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's what it's all about. Can I get a witness? Amen. That's what it's all about. The price he paid. Oh, yes. Calvary. What a love. Amen. Yes. What a love that the Father had for us that he gave his son. Yes. Amen. To yes. die on Calvary's tree. Amen. Yes. Yes. Is it another song or is it all me? Offering? Okay. Because I, 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 I got it. I got it. But like Mama said, we ain't got a program today. Amen. Amen. As we prepare to worship God in our gifts. Thank you. No, I Amen. <laughs> Uh, thank you. Um, um, we're thankful to God, amen, to just be able to assemble one more time, amen, and to give him, amen. You know, our worship is one thing, but more, our worship is not the only thing, because we worship him more than just coming to church. We worship him, amen, also with the free will gift of giving to, amen, the work of God. Amen, somebody. Amen. amen. We give to the work of God because that's how the work is maintained. Amen. amen. The church don't just don't, the lights just don't stay on. Amen. The, the, uh, 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 the, the uh, you know, the mortgage just don't get paid. Amen. Um, we, the body of the people of God, we give unto God as he's given unto us. He said, amen, upon the first day of the week, let every man lay by him in store that which what God has prospered him. Amen. amen. And that, he said, Malachi teaches us very clearly, very plainly, will a man rob God? You can pause there and say, yes. Yes, we do rob God. Yes, he has robbed God. How have, with have we robbed God? In tithe and in offering. He answers the question, how? By saying, ye are cursed with a curse. Yes. Even the whole generation. Prove me now. Herewith saith the Lord of hosts, that if I will not open the window of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that you shall not have room enough to receive. What does that mean? That simply means trust God. Say amen, somebody. Amen. Take him at his word. Someone say hallelujah. And you obey that word and see if God won't do what he said he would do for you. Amen. amen. He said he'll give it and the man will give to you and it'd be amen. Good measure, pressed down and shaken together and running over. Amen. amen. That means you won't have no room to hold it all. Amen. amen. That just simply means to trust God. Amen. amen. Don't test God but trust God. Amen. Take him at his word and see if he won't be God for you, amen. Especially in your money. Yeah, we ain't got a whole, we don't get a whole lot, no way. So we need to give what we need to give to him, amen, so he can continue to give us, amen. Sometimes we miss our own blessing, why? Because we stingy with God. And he the last one we need to be stingy with. Amen, somebody. Let us pray. Lord, we love you. We thank you. We glorify you. We lift you up in praise today. Lord, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, oh God. Ten thousand tongues. We could not thank you enough for allowing us this vanish, this chance today to be assembled in your holy sanctuary. Now, God, as we come to worship you in our gifts, we pray now, God, that 
as each one gives, Lord, let them not give grudgingly nor necessity. You said you love a cheerful giver, a hilarious, a happy giver. And as we give, God, not grudgingly nor necessity, we pray that as we give, oh God, not, not anything go lacking in our homes, but moreover that you will bless us, oh God, to give us abundance, a hundred, a thousand more blessings, we pray. Give back to us, even as we give unto you, oh God, in obedience to your word, and even if it's by sacrifice, oh God, give back. And that one that has not to give, we pray that you will bless them. Let them pass the table anyway for obedience sake of God. And at the next time, give them that they might be able to give unto you. We love you now. We thank you. It's in your name we pray. Amen. And thank God. Amen. And as we bless him, amen. We take not for granted mm -hmm. his goodness towards us. Amen. Yes. We take not his gift for granted. Amen. Because while he was blessing, he could have skipped over us. Amen. Amen. Why so, Bishop? Why would you say something like that? Um, because we have not counted his way totally holy. Amen. We ain't good and doing everything he tells us and told us to do. So if you tell the truth, amen, you'll say amen there. Amen. Amen. I'm saying it because I'm guilty too. Amen. We ain't none of us perfect. Amen. amen. And ain't nobody got no eye to look down on nobody. Amen. We all got something. Can I get a witness? Amen. And the realer we be about it, the more he'll be able to help us and bless us in it. Amen. amen. But he could have missed, he could have hopped over us, could have skipped us. Yes, yes. But we're thankful and we bless him as they were saying that he did not, he yet blessed us. Amen. Amen. He yet blessed us and saw fit, amen, to bless us each and every day of our lives. Amen. Amen. That makes him a good God. Amen. Amen. That makes him a good God. God today. Amen. Hit me, hit me up on this, this amen. Uh, as we go, amen. Go ahead and jump into the word for this morning. Not going to be with you long, amen. Amen. God going to be with you long. But uh, if anything, uh, you know, sometimes in the, in the work of preaching and ministry, uh, sometimes pastors and preachers kind of get concepts a little screwed up. Uh, we've been gone way too long from each other and sharing and together in the tabernacle and worship. Amen. Amen. And it's not necessarily um, there, there are certain type of ministry and certain types of messages that we need to, amen, have a, a, a perspective on in, in our preaching. Amen. And they teach us this in seminary, amen. And, and there are certain, certain types of messages in scripture that's intended for certain points and times in life, amen. amen. Uh, uh, to set, to, to address the mood that is uh, going on or the, uh, uh, to address the effect of what's happening and going on. Amen. Today it would not be a, a, a perspective amen so much to uh, preach a message or teach them teach a message that would be uh, uh, so more highly related to teaching you something. Hear me what I'm saying because we always learn something from the word of God amen. if you're going to walk with me. But there are times that we have to do some teaching in our preaching. Are you with me? Amen. But today is a day of in preaching. Today is a day for encouragement. Amen. 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 This is a day of encouragement Amen. along with a day of praise unto God. Amen. Amen. Because he kept us and again brought us saved us from. Amen. Amen. And so I, I thought about it and I prayed about it, amen, and I said, well, you know, you know, God, uh, there's so much that's happening, amen, and so much is happening that sometimes some folks don't even know what's really happening, amen. amen. But for the believer, for us, the Christian, we may not know everything, but what we do need to know amen. is that we serve a sweet Savior. Amen. We need to know one thing, and that is that we serve a sweet Savior. 
out of all the storms that rise and out of all the winds that blow, hear me again, amen, we need to know one thing, and that's for sure, that we serve a sweet Savior, hallelujah, and he's sweet, I know, has he been sweet to you? I mean, has it been sweet to anybody but me? And I'm declaring, I mean, I'm not promised to get out of here. I'm not promised to make it back to Marino Valley. I'm not promised to wake up in the morning. So while I got this chance today, I'm going to bless him. Amen. And I'm going to let him know that he is a sweet Savior. Amen. Sing it with me. Amen. If you know it. Simply says, he to bless your name for. 
But Lord, as you've blessed us and allowed us this opportunity today, with the fruit of our lips, God, with the fruit of our hands today, we put our hands together, we lift our voices in praise, and we say hallelujah to your name today. You rebuked the devourer for our sakes. And for that we are thankful. Thank you, Lord. Thank now, oh God, as it is time that, that we lift your, your name and praise through this, your holy, righteous, written, and even now spoken word. Yes. Lord, as you have supplied the mechanics, I pray now that you sit and give the dynamics. Bless this word to the hearts of this people yes. this day, oh God. You know what we stand in need of. Yeah. We don't need to just be preached at or to. We need to be encouraged yes. Yes. by you. Yeah. So we say and ask as we stand and ask each time that you give us opportunity to stand. Spirit of the living God, yes. Yes. fall fresh. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh. Spirit of Hallelujah, the living God. Fall fresh on this word today. And allow your word to not return void, but allow it to go forth and accomplish that which you set it out to do. We bind you now, Satan, and we speak to you like a natural man. You are not welcome here. We find your works and your tactics and everything that's connected with and to you. We find it right now in Jesus' name. Yes. The prince and power of the air you are. As these doors are open, you take your flight and your lead right now. And I command it so in Jesus' name. The people of the God shall and will and are free today. To worship the great God of their salvation in spirit and in truth. Bless this word we pray. Touch me the least of all your servant. Lord that I stand not of myself but I stand totally and completely in you. You tell me and you sold me in my word in this word that I can do all things. Through you who strengthens me. Hide up beneath your cross. Let your blood fully flow. I stand not in the Darby, but I stand totally and completely in the preacher. Yes, yes. We love you and we bless your name today for this opportunity. Use us for your glory yes. and use us for your honor. It's all in your blessed, sweet, and holy name. We pray and ask it all. Everyone in agreement with this prayer, say amen. Amen. And amen again. Amen. If you love God, put your hands together real quick. Amen. Hallelujah. Let him know that you do love him. Amen. You know, they say, you know, I say it all the time. You say, darling, why are you always talking about love as an action? Because it is. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Love is an action word. Amen. You know, it's a word that we say. Sometimes some of us use it way looser than we maybe, you know, need to. Because we don't put the action always behind it. Amen? Amen. But when you say you love, amen, when you say you love, you're supposed to show amen. that you love. Amen? Man say you love a woman. Woman say you love a man. Mama say she love a child. Child say you love mama. Amen. It's good to tell me, but I need you to show me. Amen? God wants to say, can I get a witness? Right. Amen. He wants to know, amen. And we say we love him. We, we want to know. He want to know and feel it too. Amen. That you truly love him. With the interest of your prayers for a few minutes, turn your Bibles with me to the book of Psalms. I love this passage of scriptures. One of my very loved passages of scriptures. Psalms 37. Psalms 37. This song of David. Amen. The song that David wrote 
amen, and a time, amen, of encouraging his own self, amen. Uh, a psalm that, psalm that suggests, amen, it suggests, amen, uh, the blessings of God upon the people of God, amen, in the midst of living a righteous life. It's a song related to the blessings of those that are living for God in the work of a righteous life. Psalms 37, I'm going to read down to verse I'm going to read down to verse 6. I'm going to read down to verse 6. That's good enough for the day. <clears throat> the word reads this way. Fret not. Somebody say, fret not. Fret not. Thyself because of evil doers. Say evil doers. Evil doers. Neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. <laughs> for they shall soon be cut down. Say, be cut down. Like the grass and wither as the green herb. Trust. Somebody say trust. In the Lord. And do good. So shall thy dwell in the land and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself. Somebody say delight thyself. Delight thyself also in the Lord. And he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit. Somebody say commit. Commit thy way. Hallelujah. Unto the Lord. Trust. Somebody say trust again. Also in him. And he shall bring it to and he shall bring forth the righteousness as the light and the judgment as the noonday. Rest, somebody say rest, rest. in the Lord and wait patiently. Say wait patiently. Wait patiently for him. Fret not. Say fret not. Fret not. Thyself because of him who Prospereth in his way because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Last verse. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not. Say, fret not again. Fret not. Thyself in any wise to do evil. Someone say amen. amen. Say amen again. Amen. For the hearing and for the reading and the hearing and the receiving of God's precious and holy word. Thank you for your audience and obedience for the reading of the word of God. I do believe this to be the word of God. I present it to us this morning in that fashion. I embrace the words of scripture where the gospel writer records before one jot or one tittle of this word shall pass away. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but the word of our God shall stand forever. And I believe that to be so. And if you believe that to be so along with me, let's just give God a wave offer like this and say with me, even this day, even this day. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God keep you. Amen. Um, today is my prayer. For a few minutes, I uh, want to talk um, with you. I uh, want to encourage you, if I can, amen, in the concepts, amen, and in the perspective of these, amen, eight scriptures that I read for you. And you read along with me, look at a neighbor, look at somebody. If there's no neighbor, or just say it out loud, amen, to yourself in the atmosphere. Say simply this, fret not. Fret not. Fret not. Fret not. Fred not. David said fret not in this passage of scripture about almost eight, almost ten times. 
this a few more times and he said that what we said because the scripture didn't end when we read it continues on <laughs> the object of this passage of scripture that David was writing and it was suggesting when he was penning this particular psalm again he was penning it and he was relating it to be a song of blessings to the righteous. Why did David need it or feel it necessary to need to write a pen, a song, uh, related to the, the Christians or to those that are serving God, loving and serving God? A song that was related to the blessed, being blessings to the righteous, uh, to the righteous people that are serving God and the righteous. Well, Really simply and plainly, amen, those that are have committed their way and life and uh, 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 um, life and word perspective to God, um, they are the ones that do need some encouragement. Amen. They need some strength and they need some help. They need some edification. Why? Let's look at it in our own life. Let's not so much go back there. Let's just apply it to our own life. As a Christian, you loving God, you serving God, and you love Him with all your heart, and you doing all that you can to love Him and serve Him into the best of your abilities. Sometimes we do better, sometimes we do less. But in the midst of it, our love for Him engages us, amen, to as, as much as we can, to do as much as we can to let God know that we love Him. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And in our love for him and to him, we do what we can. Again, some more or less sometimes, some less sometimes. And if we be honest, that's the truth. Amen? Amen. Amen. Sometimes we do it in a, you know, in a major real way. And sometimes we slack back. We pull back a little bit. Amen? Amen. Thusly, the reason for the need to be encouraged. Every day was not promised. To be a rose garden. Amen. Amen. In this life, the salutation says, Mama B, some rain must, not might, must fall. Yes, yes. Even in the life of a Christian and a believer. Seems like that don't that, that don't jive right. That don't sound right. We love and serve God. We on Paul have no, we should be having no rain falling in our life. I beg the difference. Simply because he did not promise that the road would be easy. Can I get a witness? But he did say if we keep and put our trust in him, that he would yes, yes. see us through. Hallelujah. And I think a lot of times that we get it caught up and tripped up. And sometimes, honestly, if we be honest with it about ourselves, we, 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 we kind of pin ourselves uh, on the chest a little bit. Uh, 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 um, too much uh, and put a little bit uh, too much of ourselves of ourselves in, in, in some fashions because um, there are times and it seems like we act like we done arrived. Hallelujah. I mean, and we tell the truth, sometimes we act like it's about me. And honey, it ain't nothing about you. Amen. It ain't nothing about you. Hallelujah. It's all about him. Prince 
in the power of the air. Can I get a witness? Amen. He's not omnipresent as God, but he get around. Amen. And he got his little imps. Amen. That, you know, run, go to, fro, and come at you. I saw what he got. That's how he knows stuff. And he's, he know when you ain't been that Christian that you know you're supposed to, you supposed to be. Hmm. He know when you were slipped. Okay. Amen. Just like God knows, Satan knows. And when he catch, see, this is the real part. When he catch you slipping and tripping, mm -hmm. see, then that's when you got to be in a perspective to what David is trying to encourage you to, see, to understand. No, you ain't got no need to be fretting about the evildoer if you are living as the righteous. iniquity, you ain't got no reason to be tripping off of them, fretting on them whatsoever if somebody say if, if you are living as the righteous. Now why you say that? Because that's what the text said. Yeah. He's encouraging you by telling you the first thing he said, Mommy Vaughn, what did he say? Fret not. Amen. <laughs> Fret not, because, look how he said, of evildoers, neither thou be thou envious against workers of iniquity. That suggests that they do exist. Are you with me? Uh-huh. That presents the fact that they do exist. And it proves all the fact, Mama Jerry, that it's even a fact that even as you call yourself the righteous, that they exist in your life too. If really to tell the truth, they more in our life than they did on anybody. Amen. And you know the cold part of what Satan do? He let it be the, the work of iniquity. The work of iniquity. He, he'll let that be somebody special. Mm -hmm. he'll let that, I'm with you on that mama Jerry. He'll let that be somebody special or he'll let that be somebody Mike real close to you. He'll let that be somebody uh, Chantel that they supposed to be having no trip with you. Amen. He'll let that be amen, somebody that ain't got no business hating on you. Over oh, what do we do? Somebody gonna say amen with me in a few minutes. He will make that Been 
envious of them, envious of them work of iniquity. Envious. He said they gonna soon be cut down. He said they shall soon be cut down. Then, so then, why would we be envious of them? They gonna perish. Can I get a witness? I said they gonna perish. He said they're gonna wither as the green earth. They ain't gonna wither. They are gonna be no more. That's like he told the Israel, Israelites. I'm, a, I'm, I'm almost done. He told them when they got to the Red Sea and when nothing before them, the God of Israel declares unto you this day that the avenging army of Pharaoh who cometh after you to seek to kill and devour you, he said, Arm, uh, Pharaoh and his army, you shall not see no more. Amen. Why? David 
said in another passage, I've never seen the righteous forsaken, mm. nor his seed That's right. begging for bread. Yeah. That simply means if you truly are trying to live righteous, you will be of the in crowd that's trying to please God. See, because when you're really striving to serve him, yes. you're definitely doing more good than bad. Mm. Right. Are you with me there? Amen. See, that's a paradigm. If you're really trying to please him, you definitely are doing, you're trying to do more good than ever bad. Mm. Fact is, you ain't trying to do no bad. Amen. You're really not. You're not trying to do bad. I told my I told my dog just a few days ago. Amen. It, it, it's about it's about realizing and knowing that even in your good, some bad can come. Yeah. But don't trip on that because why? It's about your intentions. Yeah. If the bad don't you know supersede all your good, one bad thing can mess up all the good you'd have never done. Amen. Can I get a witness? Amen. You could been praying, living, and serving God all your life, mm -hmm. and one thing could be so dark. It can pull your legs from right under you, and you on your back, and you don't want to. Uh oh, I done messed up. Amen. Amen. Daddy said trouble was hell to get in, and it was sure enough hell to get. It was easy to get in, the hell to get out. That's mm. right. So it is as a Christian, and I'm almost done. As a Christian, we got to rectify the fact and let that devil know. For God, I live. And for God, I die. Amen. In other words, you got to have a true and a real allegiance to God. Yeah. And let God know above all that Lord, through hell or high water, I'm going to stand and I'm going to serve you. No matter what the devil does or say, I'm going to live for you. Yeah, my old friends, and that's what they are, old friends, they talk about me and they laugh at me and they scoff me, amen, but I'm going to keep my faith and my trust in you. Lord, you promised me, your word told me, if I live right and keep your commandments, that no good thing, no good thing, no good thing will you withhold from me if I walk upright and keep yeah. your commandments. Yeah. That's why we got to continue to trust in the Lord. Can I get a witness? That's why we must trust in the Lord. And if we do so, we'll be doing good, and so shall we dwell in the land. Yes, yes. And verily we shall be fed. Uh -huh. Delight thyself. Delight thyself mm. also in the Lord. Lift yourself up also in the Lord. Yes. Pump yourself up yes. also in the Lord. Cheer yourself also in the Lord. Shall bring it to pass. Hallelujah. All that you've been praying for, all that you've been turning over to Him, I turned it over to the Lord, Hallelujah. and He worked it out. Hallelujah. That problem yes. that I had, mm -hmm. I just couldn't seem to solve. I prayed and I prayed. I just kept getting deeper involved. But I turned it over to Jesus. Can I get a witness today? But I turned it over to Jesus. And I stopped worrying about it. I gave it over to the Lord. And he worked it out. That's what you do when you delight yourself in it. When you delight yourself in it, you recognize, no, it ain't my fight. The battle's not yours. Amen. The battle's not yours, Mama B. Amen. The battle is not yours. Hallelujah. It's the Lord's. Amen. Amen. When you delight yourself in Him, it's then so simply easy to commit your way to Him. Mm -hmm. David says, commit your way. Mm. 
commit thy way unto the Lord. Look what he's saying again. And trust is imperative, saints. You got to trust in him. Amen. If you're not trusting in him, you can't delight. If you ain't trusting in him, you can't delight. If you're not trusting in him, you can't commit. Amen. You can't say bad. You can't stand fast. You can't do what he tells you to do. You ain't trying to obey his will, his word, his way. You ain't trying to do none of that. None of that. If you're not trusting Amen. in him, Trust in him, he says. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light, and thy judgment as the noonday. In other words, amen, the devil won't be able to come and put nothing on you. He won't be able to come and accuse you of nothing because his evil doing days are numbered. Amen. His, his working in this week time is about past due and over with. God, because God's going to tend to it. God going to get rid of me for you. You ain't got to do it. See, you ain't got to roll your arms. I'm going to give her a piece of my mind. I'm going to let that trick know she don't know who she's fooling with. I'm going to lay my religion down and I'm going to go. I'll have it, but be still and let God fight for you. Amen. Let the Lord fight your battle. See, when you let the Lord fight your battle, then you can declare victory. Amen. Can I get a witness? Oh, yeah. Victory! Victory shall be mine. Victory, victory shall be mine. How? Why? If I hold my peace and let the Lord fight my battle. Victory. Victory shall be mine. God bless you today. Hallelujah. God bless you today. Yes. Appreciate it. Y'all being as attentive as you are and were yes, yes. listening to my little discussion. I appreciate you. I show sure enough do. For giving your ear attentiveness yes, yes. to what God through his word had to say today. Amen. Through this young preacher. Hallelujah. And above all as I leave you today in this passage of scripture, I would trust that you just let this passage of scripture go away as we close our Bibles today. Amen. But what I would ask of you to do yeah. is to even when you close your Bible today, yeah. and even upon leaving the house of prayer when we go today to our prospective homes and places of abode, I would ask of you that if you even don't open the Bible back up to Psalms 37 when you get home or later on this week, I want you to remember this one simple thing. When the devil comes in the form of an evil doer, because just as red as heaven is happy, the Bible is declaring that that evil evil doer is going to come somewhere, some way, somehow. Can I get a witness? And just because, Hallelujah! You heard the word today that was telling you, and David told us so verbally and vibrantly in the first words of he declared in this passage of scripture to. Fret not. I want to encourage you as I leave you today, just like David said, fret not. Hallelujah. Why do you say, Bishop Darby, to not fret? Well, if you didn't hear anything that I said to you today out of this passage of scripture, I want you to do one thing. And that is when, somebody say when, when the devil comes this week, oh bless his name, when the devil comes in your life, show sure enough he coming Chantel, can I get a witness, when somebody been told a lie on you this week, 
bless his name. When, when, oh when, might somebody pull you, tear you, try to steer you the wrong way. Please don't get in your feelings. Please, please don't get an attitude and don't get mad. Don't get upset. Don't render evil for evil. Stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. Keep on doing good. Can I get a witness? Somebody. Keep the Lord on your mind. Can I get a witness? If you keep on trusting in him, how many know for a fact that everything, yeah, everything is going to be all right. God bless you. God bless you. May the Lord God bless you real good. May he keep you in his care is my prayer. Lastly, and show not finish. You ain't got nothing to be fretting about. Why so, Bishop? Well, 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 I'm going to tell you like this. In the words of my dear Bishop, on the hill, yes, sir, far away, stood in the old rugged cross. Yes, it did. And God sent Jesus, his very own son, his own beloved, the best thing he had. Can I get a witness on that hill called Calvary? He ended, I said he ended, all of the fretting for the whole wide world. For this cause shall I no man taken my life. I lay it down for my friend. Can I get a witness on that hill called Calvary? Jesus, what did he do? You done heard the story time and time again. He died, gave his life, sacrificed himself, made himself a ransom for us. And guess what else? He even gave his life for the evildoer. Oh yes, he did. And he did it because of his love for us. He did it because he commissioned, his daddy commissioned him and he said to go and redeem mankind. Yes, he did. He went on to the cross. He went on to the cross while they spat on him. They did some showing up evil doing to him. Can I get a witness? The evil doers was at work, y'all. They spat on him. Mama B, they were showing up being evil. The workers of iniquity, Mama Yvonne, were showing up at work that day. They spat on him. They threw rocks at him. They nicked him. They kicked him. They hit him. They cursed him. The Jews, his very own, Friday they call him Hosanna. Now today they say crucify him. Iniquity at its highest work. Can I get a witness? Hung on that cross, I'm telling you. From the sixth to the ninth hour, he hung there on that cross in spite of the iniquities, in spite of the evil Father, forgive them 
alright in your life? If he really alright in your life, say he alright. Tell him again. Say he let the devil know he alright. God is alright with me. Hallelujah. Lord, we love you today. We bless your name. We glorify your name. For being that God to us that only you could ever be. Lord, thank you for this pertinent word that you shared in our hearts today. Father, how you gave us to know through your servant David in this 37th division of Psalm that we as the righteousness of you we have no reasons to fret. God, you gave us this word to know that we don't have to be troubled. Concerned even otherwise of the evil doers, nor the devices of the workers of iniquity, because you told us in this word that they shall soon be cut down. You said that you're going to wear them on the way. We won't even see them no more. We accept your word today. Amen. We apply this word to our lives. That we can be the better Christian, that we can be the better servant, that we can be the better worshiper, that we can better be the better believer, that we can be the better disciple for thee. Yes, yes. Let this word go forth and accomplish that it set out to do. Yes. Father, we thank you that all in the house are saved. We thank you that all in the house are part of your front royal family. Yes. We thank you that all in the house are part of this royal family. We pray that you bless this word to our hearts today. Allow it to even stick with us as even good soul food does our bodies. Let it be with us in the days to come, oh God. Somewhere, somewhere, the evil doer going to raise up. He going to raise up just simply because we trusted in you. Give us the ammunition through your word today to declare to him that he can take flight and that devil that he's working for can go with him. And we can declare and decree it as the ambassadors of you that we are. And we'll continue to give your name all glory, honor, and praise. It's in Jesus' blessed name we pray. Everybody say amen. Amen. Put your hands together for the Lord today. Amen. Amen. And amen. God bless you today. How many were encouraged through the word today?